Right, to remove um, the roof counter, we're going to loosen off the adjustment for the steering wheel so we can lower it down a bit because what we want to do is we want to get into there's two screws one here one here I've got a T25 on here which I believe is the right one he says hopefully can't see a thing there we go yep that seems on so we're just going to undo those That should help. Oh, that frees up that <coughs> cover. Oh, the top cover comes off. Lovely. But before we get carried away here, we need to find there's a plug just there, and underneath the plug is where the clip that's holding it on. There's a green clip just under there. We're going to push up on that to release the, the connector. Right. right uh, just quickly, uh, put on a slightly different angle, hopefully we can see this. I'm going to try and push this up and pull it out. Now, um, one thing as well on disconnecting this, uh, I have disconnected my battery. I did do a bit of a quick pull with some uh, forum friends uh, I think it's oh there we go um, so yeah I did a, a quick poll with a, um, a forum to say what do you reckon unplug the battery yes or no and um, at first it was a bit of a 50-50 yes no yes no don't need to but then the view was for the sake of half a half a minute to a minute to disconnect it and possibly save yourself damaging this, it's worth undoing it. Hi everybody, welcome back to part three of changing the LED lights. Just double checking that the arm is actually pointing directly on zero, so that's something we're going to watch and see how well we can recover that. Two Phillips screws, I'm going to undo those. Pop those screws out, put them in there. Work out how this all comes apart. I remember seeing someone might have to bake through this paper here. What does that tell us? Part numbers, software index, bus index. Right, 15H. We might be. <coughs> so I'm just looking at this thing here. I'm probably going to have to go through that. So I'm just looking at the details that I might end up losing. And we will write that down <coughs> somewhere. Get an appropriate pin and just run a line. All right, I'm just going to run my finger through here and cut that through. Went, yeah, right through the bus and it. Right, so that allows us to hopefully get that bit out. That way, just make sure there's nothing, there's something there holding it. Oh yes, I can see something under here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's down in there. There's a little pig, white pig sticking down under there. There we go. Got it. What's happening now? So I'll <clears throat> just show you here. So this little bit here, this little peg sticking out, so I had to get in and pull the black up away from that peg. Now we've got to just check the other end. Oh no, there we go. Okay, we're off. So, lots of electronics in here. We want to be very careful we don't cause any damage to this. Next thing is, we've got we want to pop the cover off. So we've got all of these silver tabs here. One, two, well, let's start with the silver bit. Um, 
hate these clips. I'm always worried that I'm about to break something. Right, let's get a suitable tool. So I've got these plastic picks. Just now pop those in place. I know. It's alright, just so another one up here. There we go. Last one here. I'm just pushing that out and then lifting, pulling back on it. <laughs> As I thought, of um, all that's happened, don't worry, the noise of just what the first ones popped back in. So let's actually just take it out that way. Right, silver's off. What do you reckon? Good time to paint it? Might just leave that for the moment. We know how to get it off. Right, now this plastic cover, because obviously what we're trying to do is get in behind. Um, this, this dial display. Right, so now we're going to pop, that looks fairly simple, just pushing back on the clip, pushing inwards, right, there you go, that's that's popped off. Right, the needle. So I can see the needle moves, right, it can move all the way down to there. Good news is we didn't break it. Uh, so what I did there, which you may not have seen, is I twisted it right round and so we'll see if it would, sp it actually spins, it actually spins on the pin that's inside there. So hopefully just that, that freed it up a little bit. Right, the first thing is we can actually start seeing some LEDs. So there's a couple of little LEDs in there, three of them. Uh, which I'm assuming come up obviously behind here. They shine in here and send light through there. Now the challenge is of course, you actually got orange in the back of that. So I'm not quite sure what blue will look like over the top of it. I don't know if that's like just a sticker possibly that can come off, but I don't currently have anything I could replace it with, but it doesn't mean we can't get those, eh, well, let's see if we can get to those LEDs now. So this is where uh, the company I've, and I'm, I don't know, if, I'm sure there's possibly others, but I know the only one I'm aware of is a company called Chameleon Lead here in the UK. They will reprint these for you. Uh, they're on Facebook if you want to look them up. Uh, I have no affiliation to them. Uh, I haven't actually even used them yet. I've certainly considered using them a lot, but I think longer term I'm going to go to a slightly different option on my dash so we'll see where that takes us right just seeing in there if we can just just a little clip on the side here just want to gently free that up right that's that off so now we have to get this piece of plastic off so we can get the leds right so we're not going to do any of these in here um, yeah, so we're just going to tackle, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine LEDs we're changing in here. Uh, and I think if you're close enough on this, let's just see if I can zoom in on this bit here, hopefully. You can see just here, this LED, just above it, there's a K on the board, and same with that one. So that's the cathode, and that is where, if you look, Again, if I can, if I can zoom in, there's that little edge taken off the plastic of the LED, which shows that that is the cathode. The cathode being where positive is applied from memory. Right now, how to get this plastic piece off? This clip here. Ah, yes. Just these these two plastic clips. There's one plastic clip there, one over there. We just run around again. Hopefully, that should be lifting. Is there anything? Just going to lift this other clip over here. Yep, it's got that up. Right, <clears throat> that's off. I'm going to sit that in, sit that back in the plastic. Right, I need something to hold this. So, once you get this off, obviously you've got to be a little careful about what you're doing. And again, just seeing 
So if you really know about electronics, you may want to pull this off and have a look at what LEDs are in behind there. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to suffer with the fact it's going to stay orange um, because A, you've got to desolder these metal bits here and that'll pull that metal frame off. You might be able to then get the plastic frame off. I don't know if you'll then be able to see the LEDs. You might be able to. Maybe that's all that someone's done. I think for me at this point, with where my skills are at, I'm, I'm sure I could tackle it, but I think I'd probably prefer to have a spare speedo with me to tackle that with in case something goes wrong. Also, this here is the armature for the needle. We've got to be very careful when we're working around here that we don't damage that. Right, people, I've sat, sat this piece of bead back inside the, the, black, the back plastic because um, that way I'm not touching the electronics on the ground, anything, and I can hopefully try and hold this still. I've also checked these three over here that I was thinking of changing are actually marked as red. So uh, these are obviously possibly red line as well. So at the moment, I will, won't touch these uh, and I'll have a look at them. But it does, if you look at the way this sits over here, it means you effectively got red from five and a half. Um, but I think it, it probably only turns some on because I'm pretty sure the red line doesn't sit there from there. But again, it could be something to think about um, as to, you know, how do you want your colors to, to appear here? You could easily change these for for an orange, which, you know, these are orange. So we could easily move these to here and then you could change these colors um, or you could change all of them. So I think I'll stick with changing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the moment, which uh, just illuminate the display. And again, we're not going to touch that just for now. Right, we'll go into time lapse for this week.
Hi people, uh, I realise that age is not on my side. Um, my eyes really struggle to see um, under this, and I really need I need one of those uh, tools you use for holding lots of bits and pieces because um, I need to need to look through a magnifying glass. This is really, and I'm not. They're in, but I'm not 100% happy with what I've done. But we'll see how we go. They're all around the right way. So we can see here there's a cathode this side, uh, there's a cathode that side, and there's a cathode that side there. So I've changed these three around the um, dial indicator. There's one there, one here, and one there, and one there. So I, just so I might just pop this white cover back on here, like that. Uh, we'll keep it in its case slightly just because I don't want electronics floating around. We'll just plug it in and see if we get those lights because we don't have to turn the car on, we can just turn the lights on and we'll see if those lights come up. Right, here's the challenge. When it's winter, it gets dark outside quite early and then you realise, well yeah, I've taken the battery off. Oh, sorry, I've taken the battery off so I don't have a light in the car. So you're left with, hmm, how am I going to see? So I came out here before thinking, oh, it'll be fine. No. I'm going to plug this in, connect the battery, see if the lights work. Then I'm going to have to disconnect it all and uh, put it all back together. Hope, well, hopefully it works. See how that goes. Right, battery's on. Ooh, look at that. Yes, all of them are working. Brilliant. And we can see that very small LED up there is on. The other two aren't and the other one's actually hidden in behind there so we'll see but anyway they're all working right let's put this back together right so as we just saw that's all working which is good 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 now the challenge of putting it all back together which should be just going the opposite direction right opposite what we did so we're just going to Give that a bit of a wipe, a bit of a clean. We're going to put this nice. Would have been a good opportunity to have actually replaced this, wouldn't it, really? Um, but like I said, I have intentions of changing this out completely. So, no big deal at the moment. On your pop. There we go. That's on there. Right, just check what else we need to pop on. So, needle has to go on, lenses, yep, okay. So, we're just going to feed that on a little bit and find out where it stops. But the good news is that you can just adjust it, tweak it slightly. Let's push that down and on. Yeah, so that's roughly where it stopped last time. And yeah, so it looks about right. Right. Next thing to go on is the plastic cover, screen cover. This sits in these holes, I think. So look, here we go, it's got these two little lugs either side, there's two lugs there, there, that just hold that roughly in place, and I think it's just to keep the, the light in the right place, right, we're just going to give this, the inside of this a little bit of white, make sure we've got no fluff or stuff in it, the outside could do with a polish to be fair, but We're not here to worry about that right now, as long as the inside was clean. So that's going to pop on like that. Again, these little clips here. So one, two, three of those. Then we've got the silver, silver bit. So this bit at the bottom. Let's tuck it into the that one there. 
and squeeze it in there. Lovely. Then we can go back and put this into this. And remember we've got that little white lug there that's going to sit into that little hole. And back. Yep, it's clipped in there. Not quite in here yet. Let's give it a little bit of a helping hand. Uh, we need to go this way, don't we? There we go, that's that side. That side. Alright, that's all in place. A couple of screws. And then we head over here. This could be difficult. I'm um, trying to balance a light above me, hold a camera, and mount this, and it's just going to go dark. And, right, we're going to plug this in, uh, and we'll come back to filming when it's in. But it's just the reverse, obviously, of uh, how we took it out. We're going to we're going to get slide that plug in to the back of here, and these legs will go down inside that slot there and we'll be able to screw everything back together he says hopefully Here we are in the dark, let's turn another light on. Battery's connected now, well that's bright. Right, let's see what we get. Oh. Well, the good news is everything's blue. Outside temperature's gone down a bit. So the needle is pretty much bang on, but it's an interesting color because I've got blue LEDs with that orange strip coming in behind it. So if you look at it in the dark, it's different. It's different. It still kind of shows just, it's almost like a purple color because the blue and the, and the orange red. Switches, air conditioning, as you can see, we've got the green indicator that's here. Uh, I think so if I did the same we get those little orange that one's still sorry green and then green and then that one is red orange but hey we're getting there all good right that's the end of the third one the fourth final one will be to change this here um, because this all comes off as one panel, it'll be interesting to see, we might be able to change that one as well. Um, the hazards I won't change, red's appropriate for that, but um, yeah, it's getting there. Thanks again for watching everybody, please if you are liking these, please do hit the like button and please, please subscribe. You can't see me though. Ah.